Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith Mindrose. I'm a universal healer and peace visionary. And today I'll be doing a pick a card pile that is themed divine loving, uni divine loving message from the universe to you. And I have four piles here and I'll show it to you right now. So we have the first one here and we have four. So this is the first one with the uh, Druzy Blue Chalcedony and we have Ammonite, we have Larimar and we have Strawberry Quartz. This is A, B, C and D. If you're ready, you can just um, choose through closing your eyes and just feeling which pile of cards actually calling for you. So <clears throat> if um, you are ready then I'll start with pile card A you can still pause this video if you feel you don't know which one is the one that you want to read on and I'll do a timestamp after this so uh, yep yeah, thank you and I'll see you in your pick a card pile of A B C or D um, I hope everybody's doing well I know I haven't been here for quite a long time but um, you know everybody's doing their best the way that they can so if you've picked the pile card a this is the blue chalcedony um druzy or is that another titanium aura aura blue chalcedony because it has this glistening uh glitter i do sell this crystal um in my a crystal shop on Instagram so you can check it out so basically um, if you choose the pile card a the meaning that I may give here may be a bit different than the one I give on Instagram because I have to redo the video because Instagram did not save my stories so here I am <laughs> making a YouTube pick a card all right so the divine living message from the universe uh, so this is like an, a Prince of Cups is like an offering of love and uh, this is 10 of coins which is uh, 10 of pentacles and this is Queen of Cups which is emotional fulfillment. We also have the moon energy, we have the three of wands and we have the wheel in reverse. And we have trust in the divine timing fall into my arms which is surrendering energies and I am open to love in various forms I give offerings that are genuine so um, the theme of this card is about um, looking at receiving love in a different form um, you may feel like your emotions yes so you may feel like you're in between one goal to the next goal so you're in between goals and task and um, the energy here is that the feeling that I get is how you may have this kind of desire to to continue building your life up and it's it's not happening in the time that you want it to happen so the thing that you desire to happen is not according to your plan and maybe you feel a little bit set back you feel very emotional or you feel <clears throat> very um, affected by the fact that um, you cannot push things to make these things happen the way you want it to be and with the energy of the card surrender and trust the timing from the starseed oracle is actually showing that there is a divine agenda or a divine synchronicity with all the delays and all the setbacks that you <coughs> you've encountered so um there is a lesson that you may need to learn in the space of time that you have now before you go on to the next um, phase of your life there is a, a new new form a new lesson 
that you need to learn to pick up and that you need to um, <coughs> master so that you would be able to be prepared in uh, for the next phase of your life so take this as a moment where in you if you are in between goals or in between a certain <coughs> motion in your life um, what's going to happen is that there's a lesson here for you <coughs> and the lesson here for you is for you to find this uh, missing puzzle piece this is like the domino so there is a missing puzzle piece that you need to build so uh, there's a part missing that you need to reclaim in order for you to be fully prepared and ready for the next challenge in your life or this could even seem like a challenge in your life because you're not getting what you want when you want it when you want it to happen and um, you you may be asked to see love in a different form or a different way love may be trying to come into your life but you may see it in a in a very how do you say in a very um, in a very limited perspective way the wheel in reverse this card um it's actually showing that there is a blessing in in delays and um the universe knows that you have a dream that you want to build and you want to nurture and you want to uh, achieve this successful dreams in your life but looking at the energy of where you you are right now the lesson that you may need to to go through is is a big lesson is a very big lesson and it's really about setting your mind to recognize where you lack certain strength and um, to some people like you know if you've been working on healing non-stop and you're like again another strength another challenge and you may be feeling so fed up but um, <clears throat> trust the universe it's really really currently for the best for your highest best interest that you have all the delays that doesn't allow you to go fast forward to your success so um the message that the universe also want to add is that um there is a divine synchronicity i say that there is a divine message there is a divine continuance so there is a divine synchronicity and alignment so the universe is actually putting things together um, you may feel this pause um, you may feel like what's happening why isn't things moving again because the universe is pausing your life for momentarily because it's really asking asking you or helping you to align your energies so that the right person will come into your life or the right uh, opportunity comes into your life or the right um, change will come into your life so that is another word alignment the energy that um, the universe is bringing for you all is this form of alignment alignment that you may need to um, integrate into your life and that's why when you learn a specific lesson in your life during this pause phase where you're in between goals you're not really busy but you're also um, withdrawn a bit because you're actually taking time off perhaps um, because this wheel in reverse is like you taking the time to sort out and reflect and recuperate or re refresh or reset your energy because you are definitely working to build your uh, positive finances you're working to build your wealth okay this is your wealth and you you are asked to always be in alignment with your offerings so with the energy of your offerings being in alignment of your authenticity so 
I think maybe the universe is still helping you to brew the potions of your offerings because um, in my case I also have a feeling that I am not uh, moving in the energy that I wish I would be able to but actually in this specific time in between my goals I was actually able to receive a lot of message and downloads so take this time to actually download uh, messages from the universe and um, receiving hints and signs um, and receiving these ideas um, I'm open to love in various forms so there is love entering your life and it's not the exact same way that love used to enter or your definition of love and try to see in other people's perspective or in their shoes like how would they offer love to you or how would they uh, recognize love and wishing to offer you love uh, in the small acts that they try to do and um, it's time maybe to surrender control and to surrender what you know and just allow the universe to bring in love into your life allow the universe to bring in love into your life through um surprising ways and with this card light bringer and then we have the moon and then we have i give offerings that are genuine it really seems as if that there is this connections building up in like you may not see it physically or literally but in the subconscious realm and the astral plane there is a alignment there is a download there is a um a light codes maybe you might want to explore light language and there's an energy uh, apparently trying to enter your consciousness through this kind of like myriad of your um re how do you say your life is is going to get an a refreshed of energy a refreshing light a new light is coming into your life um may i say oh, that's probably in the next deck um and um you're going to oh oh yes oh yes so you're going to learn how to be more emotionally um mature how to be more emotionally sharp and how to be more emotionally intelligent so that you can really focus also on building the boundary you need so that in the next phase of your life you don't um, make the mistakes you may have made in the past because you have learned your lesson so there is this theme here where learn your lesson through what you ch the challenges of now so that in the future um, whatever that doesn't serve you it will be bypassed and um, your boundaries will automatically reject um, things that does not serve your highest alignment things that do not serve your genuine offerings and um, and let's see Oh, this is juicy. Okay, so um, what else is there? So with the energy of the boundaries, um, the reason you may be called to heal your boundaries is that you need a stable, a more stable um, energy where you don't have leaky energy. So when you don't have leaking energies, you are able to protect the container, the vessel of your soul, and your soul doesn't leak light, and people don't easily energy vampire you. So I think that um, right now, the, the energy from the universe is giving you this moment so that you can learn about your energy and about your vulnerabilities so that you can have you can have more control over your boundaries so that whatever light and blessing that enters your soul will not be leaked it's not uh, leaking and it is leak proof and the energy of the wheel in reverse um, things will go uh, things will turn around things will go back into a normal um, schedule 
It's just that right now you may be called to um, really introspect, um, reflect with the energy of the moon, um, all the emotions. So you have to go and look through or process a lot of emotions that is challenging to you to to uh, observe, to to understand, to explore, and um, you're going to to use this time to really to really um, one part of your soul is growing very very much and this part of your soul is your emotional wisdom so when you learn the lesson that you need to learn and you achieve this a new new set of wisdom and you are a queen of cups energy this queen of cups energy and you're able to uh, maintain poise or grace in your emotional communication um, it, maybe that is a struggle for some of you um, just understand that um, also with this card time is not running out so it means that whatever you feel that you're rushing to create you don't have to rush to create because there is enough time um, if if it's divinely aligned there is always going to be enough time for you to finish what you started you just have to have faith that you will get the time you need to finish what you need to finish for example i need to finish my book so i believe that in divine timing i will it's just that right now you may have to go through specific personal healing from the universe so don't um, don't think that there is limited time time is a construct that is malleable like what you perceive as a fast time or a slow time you know when when you're excited time flies so fast but when you're bored time is very slow so time is a very very a malleable construct and it depends on your perspective when you're bored when you don't enjoy something it will feel like forever but when you shift your perspective when you um, get on the bandwagon of learning to enjoy something that you used to not enjoy like you know be grateful and <laughs> even though i don't like the word be grateful because you know when you're stuck in something it's very hard for you to be grateful but you know it's something that you need to learn to do and that is called emotional wisdom and emotional maturity knowing where your vulnerability is admitting your vulnerability and asking the universe or your higher self like what is my vulnerability and how do i overcome it so that i can grow so if you've picked the pile card a with this crystal blue chalcedony um, uh, aura I would say that the challenge for you is to take the time to reflect in your emotional healing all oh, right and then if you want to join my um, heart chakra meditation you're welcome to do that it's going to be at the end of november um we're going to do that if you are interested it's going to be online through zoom um so besides that if if you're creating something um you will feel more aligned and integrated with with uh the universe energy guiding you for the missing pieces this is the missing pieces and i just want to show to you that there is one this is like the domino ripple the domino effect and you have one missing piece for next to to click all the right divine synchronicities you you need a, a fresh new piece so this fresh new piece needs a part of your soul to heal so that you have a certain specific beautiful new boundaries so that when you actually heal you up level and then your boundaries gets activated in a healthier way and you actually attract a lot more positive people a lot of more positive experience and um, you have to learn to surrender what is outside of your control and learn to bring in a more swifter emotion and less heavier emotions in your manifestation so trust the timing 
um, and welcome love in 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 unexpected forms of love all right so that is the message for you if you've picked pile card a with this crystal i'll be explaining to you for pile card b in just a moment let me just put this away i hope that helps you pile card a if you like the message or if you have a comment um leave a comment in the message below in the hey everybody welcome to my channel uh, so basically yesterday i recorded the first pick a card pile um, and then I was like, oh my god, this is too exhausting because the thing underneath this table is filled with stuff so it wasn't comfortable. So this is the pile card B. So um, for pile card B, um, the divine loving message from the universe, the card that we have is, I'll show this to you. We have eight of cups. We have a Knight of Swords, and we have um, Princess of Disc, and then we have the Tower, we have the Empress, and then we have Ace of Cups, or Emotions, and then we have Ancestors and Angels. We also have Inner Earth. Um, you'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings, so there's new solutions and beginnings. Um, and then, we also have Activated Earth. Uh, what did they say? Power place, ley lines, trust where you are led. Um, okay, so this is actually um, a, a second time I'm going to do this because I did this on Instagram, but the Instagram post story gone missing. So I'm repeating doing this. And then we have I live in truth and i am humble okay so basically the message here is that there's something that has been very tumultuous like there's a turmoil happening in your life there's been like a, a there's been like a, a sense of turmoil happened in your life and um the reason for this is because you're being sh you're being polished you're being sharpened you're being polished you're being carved and you know imagine that you're a block of cement and block of like stone and the sculptor is the universe sculpting you into an empress so you are becoming an empress and the thing is, with becoming an empress, um, everyone who is powerful in a very divine way had always gone through a sense of turmoil or tumultuous time or a tragedy. And here we have the Ace of Emotions, the Ace of Cups. And it means that um, even though the tower is existent, this is the tower card, the tower where everything just completely gets destroyed a lot of fire a lot of <laughs> my cat is underneath my table what wait you can sit there if you want to sit there you can sit there you can warm my feet okay <laughs> boy cat <laughs> you want to see my cat <laughs> okay, you can do the reading with us. No, it hurts. Okay. So, <laughs> sup, dudes? <laughs> Why are you so comfortable? Okay. Let the people focus on what I'm doing. Go back. Okay, so um, we have uh, eight of cups. You are walking away from the things that has harmed you, has hurt you, has betrayed you, has um, has no more 
no more you're walking away from the thing that destroyed you and there is this kind of like fast action pace energy there is these choices that you are making in your life and with this is princess of this um i think this could be i'm, I'm quite new with the tall tarot um i think this is the page princess or prince one of the page or the page knight king queen queen prince I think it has something to do with the page of wands um, is a you you may have this desire to build these finances so I think your focus hey your focus is about building um, an exit to the destruction that has happened to you in your life and you actually have the angels and your ancestors helping you out uh, the angels and the ancestors is helping you out to actually um, help you survive this help you survive the trauma and and your ancestors could be your past loved ones and the angels could be your spirit guides or literal angels like i work with archangel michael and the energy that we have here is like one of protection that you actually have protection in your life and and you have a destiny and this destiny is not um, a sad thing because you have the empress energy you're meant to be someone wonderful someone abundant and peaceful and um, the reason where the universe gave you too many towers um, I think I remember one of the things I mentioned in my first reading uh, of doing this pile of cards is that you've been destroyed over and over and over and over again and one of the words that I remember saying was um, a few days before I did this pick a card was that even though the heart our heart may shatter the hardest but we also shine the brightest so when we go through uh, many seasons of destruction eventually you will go through a season where nothing can destroy us anymore where nothing can um, and and you may think that okay maybe I'll get destroyed like one two three times four five times ten times more but definitely you'll earn this kind of like indestructible kind of label because you keep rising up you keep being resilient and shouldn't people be amazed that you survive a lot of um a lot of trauma shouldn't people be surprised shocked and speechless that you've gone through many seasons of destruction and you survived through it all and you have the Empress card that you're meant to be someone who can rebuild herself over and over and over again and maybe this is an invitation for the universe to keep asking you be more authentic be more genuine be more real be more you and maybe this is the universe attempting you to really believe in your dreams don't second don't have a secondhand dream what if this doesn't work I'll fall back into this because it's a safer version of a dream but what if the universe actually tells you and ask you what is your true dream we keep destroying the things you built because you built the life that you built out of fear out of scarcity out of second rate happiness what if we keep destroying your life we keep renewing asking you to rebuild rebuild and rebuild because we want you to step into the power of being who you really want to be to to be fearless 
to be to be a person who don't don't negotiate your dreams are you negotiating your dreams is your angels and ancestors asking you to be someone that you're meant to be but you're afraid to take that step into authority into powerhood and into that um acceptance that you have a skill and a talent that is going to waste because you're afraid of taking that chance to dream bigger to dream um more and maybe there there could be a sense of um shame or disappointment or or rejection that you need to deal with um and you're you you could be uh a, there's a word for this a, a shining star you could be a shining star because you have this inner earth and activated earth you will survive this new solutions and beginnings power places ley lines trust where you are led so what if you're not meant to be um you're not meant to just accept mediocre what if you're supposed to be amazing instead of mediocre and your light needs to shine in a way that you cannot be mediocre you have to be amazing and what if you have to accept that you are being called to be amazing and um my my uh how i decipher this in the beginning the first time that i did this um i said that the tower was meant to humble you was meant to keep you grounded so that you remain who you are when you become successful when you become prosperous but now in the second definition that i'm sharing the meaning my goodness my bird Okay, so I live in truth. So, are you really living in truth? Are you really living in the uh, truth of your true desires? What if your true desire isn't what you're really doing now? What if your true desire is doing something else? What if you've negotiated or um, bargained your desires? Like, okay, I think I'll just do um, what makes me 10% happy and not... 100% happy. I'll give up the 90% of happiness because it makes people around me more comfortable. It makes me not um, stepping into my power and not being ridiculed or shamed or mocked for my dreams. What if it's safer for me to dream 10%? Right? So I live in truth is maybe another word for challenge. Maybe I live in truth is about you kind of like question is this really the truth that i am meant to live is this really the truth that i am meant to give to others what if you're meant to do something else and the world keeps shaking and shaking your path because you're not on the right path you have to go to another level of destruction to go deeper into your genuine self so what if you're meant to do something else with your life? So what is it? I know what I have to do. Because throughout this whole reading, I'm like, the ancestors is asking me to do something that makes me really happy. And I don't know where to start. So, here. This is the card. Where to start? you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings so what if the year 2021 you're asked to dream a hundred percent and not ten percent what if the year the incoming year we have another one month left that you're supposed to dream bigger or you're supposed to you know release and surrender the past the past fears, the past, what you feel is inconceivable, you can't do it, but what if you can? So, 
you're being asked to really fulfill your heart to the most ha fullest e extent of your heart to feel, to really fill it up with a lot of love and joy and to do that maybe it's time for you to kind of like um leave the person the parts of the parts of you that doesn't serve your highest it's like changing into a new habit reforming yourself into a person you 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 feel is aligned with your highest truth which is here reform reforming yourself after the destruction the tower into the highest version of your truth and to really to really know that you are always grounded and and humble and you're always in a space of energy where um when you're really grounded is where you can really see all truth because you're not biased you're not selectively um so being selective about certain things you're really just um allowing yourself to expand your truth and then with that you can really make a different decisions actions and take solu take different solutions um so the the challenge in this is the challenge in this pile of deck is that are you living your truth mm, the positive affirmation to this deck is that you will get solutions to your problems and you will reform you will um, become a better individual and you are protected uh, by your ancestors and the angels they're looking over your journey in your life because um, I feel that maybe your ancestors are a collection of it's their dreams as well that you're making come true it's their dreams and it's their hard work and effort to be in a place or in an alignment where they live your their highest ideals and dreams through you um because it's a collective um success or a collective it's like a collective um how do you say this it's like a dream work it's like it's a collective dream within your bloodline or ancestor to 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 anchor light or star energy into the world and you have an inner earth and inner earth is actually like the uh the inner earth is it the the, the, the shambhala um and activated earth power places ley lines trust where you're led so from now onwards you get to understand that um you have a very specific journey where um your soul purpose needs to be upgraded okay so i think your soul purpose needs to be upgraded and you will see even deeper why why it's a, a better path for you you will start seeing how your career or passion will evolve because we have empress and ace of emotions ace of cups and then we also have the tower the tower is always this like very very shocking enigmatic explosive energy and then we have the empress and the ace of cups so it means that there is this very big shift in your purpose and career or soul's journey and your ancestors are and angels are there guiding you to help you through this all that's so good that my birds stopped chirping because i told them Shh, shh and, and i started whispering to you guys so that's it for pile card um b and um if you have any comments if you want to add any inputs 
let me know in the comment section or just um, Instagram me um, but I I'm also offering a promotion offer for this style of reading for 12 cards um, it's about like 15 dollars yeah it's about 15 dollars um, it's limited quantity uh, so if you guys are interested just let me know in Malaysian ringgit it's RM55 so yep I'll see you in the power card scene hey everybody this is for you guys who have picked the power card C this is a message in um, the divine loving message from the universe okay so I'm going to show you a little bit of the deck so we have the Sun we have the universe in reverse and then we have the devil we have three of um, coins eight of coins pentacles pentacles and five of pentacles we also have um, the crystal Greek card passion passion prosperity we have the starship oracle um, saying weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry and then we have the great severing mars energy anger conflict and softening to love and then we have from the amenti oracle i offer words of good intent and i care for the earth okay so if you guys see um there is like this kind of um craft that you're building there is a craft that you're building um i think uh there is there is this kind of like shift that needs to happen in your craft um okay I want, i'm going to explain to you guys about this tree of pentacles um so this is for you guys who have maybe collaborated with people who did not um, provide you with equal collaborative effort and um, you ended up creating this uh, craft on your own but you're not getting the prosperity this is five of pentacles you're not getting the prosperity the rewards and the recognition based on your um, true passion and true craft and true skills or talents um, there is the universe upside down with the toss deck the universe that you, you you actually have the sun energy the sun card which you actually have high hopes about your future because you do have many skills and talents and you can give you are a creator you give you create and you give wisdom or you give light to the world but um there is this universe in reverse or the world in reverse um where your your world was tipped down and i think it's due to the fact that you had very very uh, miserable collaborative efforts with people who took advantage of your skills and talents and ideas and ran off with it and made money from it and um, left you feeling unworthy feeling unworthy of your own abundance true abundance and true joy and true um, true richness so I have to see <laughs> so it seems it seems like um, for anybody who has been in a way that you guys have done a lot of work on your craft and you did not get recognition for it um you have this like a passion card you you have built this passion you have this passion but maybe this passion was um taken away from this by these people who says they're going to collaborate with you but they actually don't have any original ideas they just took your original ideas and then they make you feel unworthy of even pursuing the same energy so they actually make you feel unworthy and i feel like there is this kind of like passion and prosperity actually reveals a little bit about unworthiness actually about revealing about unworthiness um and i forgot to mention if you pick the larimar this is the uh, pile of that pile of card that 
is from this uh, deck. Oh my god, my, my, my words are being jumbled. <clears throat> so, with prosperity and passion, um, um, you may need to do, you may need to do cord cutting. I think I can suggest this to you. You, you need to do cord cutting with the toxic people in your past who has benefit from leeching off of your creativity and your abundance so solar plexus chakra and sacral chakra because this is also the energy of the sun the sacral chakra stores the energy of the sun your um, positive energy maybe if you feel lethargic i think uh, you have to heal your uh, this side of your energy because this is the side where your liver and kidneys are and um, you, when you get energy vampired um, that area gets affected the most um, and I think this is a very lethal kind of energy vampirism and um, I think you had been a target for toxic people to benefit from your kindness and passion uh, kindness and compassion and um, you you're carrying what isn't yours so in this spread of cards I really want to give you the message that you have to heal um, baggages you have to release baggages that isn't yours to carry and this this comes with like a, a root chakra energy where you need to release other people's fears other people's insecurities because um, this energy of unworthiness actually um, is showing up because you have unconsciously picked up other people's energy baggages let it go it's not yours to carry the weight of other people's um scarce world scarcity this is the car of the sun and you naturally have a very upbeat look in life but because um maybe previously when you were younger maybe you had experience where people approach you because you had this light that they don't have and then they needed that from you and then you ended up feeling very like the sun upside down or the universe being upside down you feel very drained from people who don't have a sun within themselves because you learn to nurture yourself maybe as a survival mechanism you had to learn to build faith and resilience as a child because maybe you came from a, a home of abuse and you ended up being very self-reliant and that made you able to um, work on your own efforts and you don't need other people to tell you what to do but there might be people around you who have seen that in you and wishes that they have it and then in other ways they try to uh, they they might have crippled your ability to nurture the sun energy continuously for yourself and then shielding it so there is an energy vampire around your midst who benefit from you not having boundaries and you have to start recognizing who it is and then start building this healthy boundaries with them and they might not like it and they, they may feel some things off and then they will try to trigger you in a way to keep giving this energy away but you can heal and um, I recently also heal such a very deep self-worth issues with uh, giving up parts of yourself to make other people comfortable and if you need that lesson of wisdom you can um, sign up for a session with me and then we can work things out but it's not like a one session thing so you have to figure out if you really want to work with me in the program <laughs> um, I know that I'm plugging myself right now but yeah i think it actually helps people if they know how i can help them so this is the sun energy and you usually have an upbeat look in life and you don't really f believe in scarcity but i think because you your energy has been influenced by a lot of people who have hidden scarcity they they lie to you in your presence that they're actually doing pretty bad but they're faking it to make it so it's very it's kind of like very um, toxic to be around people who are 
faking it to make it because you may not know the true essence or their true fears they don't really um they don't really unpack their emotional baggage and they're denying emotional accountability to their own negative emotions and then they try to only leech on your positive emotions where are they getting the positive emotions if um they're faking it to make it so that's the thing um like is it's a bit harmful to be surrounded by people who are faking it to make it so we actually have the devil card here that i didn't really point out the devil card energy is like the energy vampirism that i mentioned to you about that um you may have to like really to really keep an eye on negative criticisms of making you believe that you're unworthy and then controlling and influencing your daily activities or your small um, responses to unworthiness within your heart and your mind to make you feel more inferior so the devil is here to cause you to um, keep you locked outside of your own abundance so it's it's like a it's like you're working for okay for example like this you work and you earn money but the money is going to other people who is under undeserving of your wealth so it's like you're building a lot of energy you have faith but you cannot access that faith for yourself you have to sacrifice that faith for your abusers okay so basically like the devil energy is like um you're being kind of like not slaughtered it's like sacrifice so you you had to sacrifice your passion talent and gifts so that other people can benefit from it and that is like a total uh, more sinister highest level of uh, in highest level of there is a word i wanted to say inferior highest level of feral so highest level of it's like really really high level of demonical mind manipulation and um, i don't know about you but i've been doing this trauma healing since 2014 and 2015 and I, I've dealt with um, toxic people up front in 2014. Um, so this, the, the thing that I'm mentioning here is really high frequency stuff. Uh, like like you, you have to reach this really high awareness to be able to crack the mind control. So the thing is with, with this is that you, you were kind of like ganged up the 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 devil energy ganged up to cause you to be in always survival mode rather than thriving mode so with the energy of prosperity and passion from your root chakra to your heart chakra and you've been kind of like used like a cow for i'm so sorry to say this but you know unfiltered version you you may have been used like a, a a cow to just people just leech off you but you're not able to thrive in your field okay so you could do cord cutting meditation with archangel michael um i have like a box why am i plugging so much <laughs> I, ha I have so many recommend recommendations um, i have like a box of crystals um and i'm about to do this little article um like like a small booklet on how to do cord cutting with Archangel Michael so that's available you can let me know if you're interested and um, uh, you can do this cord cutting with Archangel Michael but there's also one thing that I mentioned that you can do is you can oh it's a lot of work yeah there is like a mm, there is this kind of like you know like inception 
so it's something like inception so we go into your subconscious and break that pattern of causing you to always be in survival mode so some of you guys may have been in survival mode all the time even though you are so talented and you are so skilled and you are so uh, passionate about your work but you're always in survival mode why is that so we can actually do that in maybe if you want to you guys can let, let me know i can create a meditation specially for this um because usually when i have like something to heal i would do this myself and then i prepare it for others so basically you can join a meditation in the future maybe where we would specifically focus on um you know like just healing the the energy where you're always continuously surviving but you're not thriving and you're reclaiming the power where no one can access your sun energy anymore no one can access your sun energy when it uh, detriments you so that is something that i re really really recommend and with the devil energy and the five of materials devil energy and the five of materials is like you're being locked out of your own abundance just see this just see that just see how the girl is like locked outside there and the it's like you're you're not you have access to it but there has been blind spot covered energy vampires have covered your access to see your abundance and true worth so um so this is the mars energy the great severing mars energy anger conflict and softening to love so um they split your energy to they have split your energy to unconsciously make love available to energy vampires but make love unavailable for you so there is like the soul healing that you guys need to do to cause this kind of like rift to be unrift and um, you need like a boundary to be installed within you so that you can um, you can release other people's hooks on you so this is why the the, the, the psychic hooks need to be released and um, you can heal that boundary with healing this is problem solving here but i definitely um, invite you to meditations if you want to email me and if i have incoming meditations i'll update you and you can join me okay so now um with this i care for the earth and i offer words of good intent i think that when you really when you really bring in positive energy when you really have shield your own sun energy your solar plexus When you really um, shield your solar plexus, um, you can actually give birth to a medicine um, that that creates a salve of healing for your soul and for the world. Because when you shine your best and brightest, the world um, benefits. Okay, and um, I offer words of good intent. Um, when you mm, you you have you have opportunity to uh, connect to people to connect to people who you choose to collaborate with because with this tree of materials in the past you collaborated with people who uh, benefit from you and making you do all the work so now you can actually benefit from 
choosing who you want to work with and choosing who has a talent and skill that complements yours not just saying okay to any collaboration um, so now when you connect to anybody you can really really choose because they have something that you are proud for them to have and you're not energy vampiring them and they're not energy vampiring you and um, there's definitely healthy collaboration that you can um, manifest in the future because um, you will have the the guidance or the universe is gonna um, show to you like how or who you can connect with okay so that's the energy for pile card c um release the challenge here for you is for you to um work on your boundaries and work on your self-worth and the the positive affirmation here is that you really have a genuine a good vibe for yourself and others but um, unfortunately you don't get recognized for it you don't get celebrated for it you don't get um, rewarded for it so um, you should do uh, some cord cutting meditation or some healing on that area and for and for uh, last message for me is that um, you have to begin to see in what areas and ways you have loved others to your detriment and how you have unloved yourself to your detriment okay in what ways have you loved others unconsciously not recognizing your action is of love and other people don't deserve it because you may have been uh, gaslighted and manipulated to treat people better than you treat yourself okay and um, and you have to la learn to recognize where you need to place that love that you've been giving others to you give yourself the loyalty even if you don't collaborate with others collaborate with yourself collaborate and work within yourself and be self-reliant have that self-initiative and create the wonderful things that you want to create with your skills and passions because this eight of materials is a crafter craft craftsmanship skills talents whatever it is that is your art whatever it is that is your product whatever it is that is your passion either music or stuff that you make like this this is the love beam spray is for clearing and grounding so it's like any herbal products or any kind of like arts music uh, paintings drawings anything whatever that you're doing just make it come true collaborate with yourself and recognize yourself and gi give yourself the worthiness that you deserve and pay yourself and um, you don't have to be blindsided by um, other people's definition of your self-worth of what you deserve and you put the definition of your self-worth so that's it for me um, I'll see you in pal card D see you soon, bye hey everybody this is for you guys who picked up pal card D with the crystal strawberry cards alright so I'll show to you the deck here a quick one there's the empress energy and then there's the five of swords the feet and then this hanging man in re in reverse yeah and then we have two of cups the high priestess and then the queen or the muse of pentacles aka money or materials we have the crystal greed for uh cleanse and ground and we have empathic star seed from the crystal uh, star seed deck we have earth pulsing we also have the amenti deck i keep my own counsel and i benefit with gratitude so i think from all the piles of deck i actually love this the most because it is very very um affirmative and this this whole spread actually 
is showing a woman or the energy of a person who has come into her full power or you are going to be on that journey of coming into your own power because um, with the energy of the empress and then the energy of the feet and the energy of the hangman I feel that as if that um, there has been like some struggle that you may have gone through with um, people distorting your perspective people dis distorting other people's perspective about you so it could be like a, a false rumor going around uh, a, a rumor that is false going around a gossip or slander going around because we have this five of swords with this tossed tarot deck uh, five of swords it's like this feud or quarrel or argument and then with the energy of the two of emotions two of cups um and then the high priestess and the um king or queen it's like the muse of materials is less patriarch energy in this this deck um so we have like king we can just say like a woman who is in power of her own worth a woman who is in power of her own cups energy hey wait uh properties energy and um energetic sovereignty so it means that you you are starting to listen to your intuition even stronger than uh what other people say what other people feel you're you're you are no longer in contradiction with other people's feelings versus yours you're going to learn to you have learned or you're going to learn how to um be more reiterative with your own soul language that you you you've picked up more of your nuances of your own s small small things that you learn about yourself about how you feel about things um the energy here where you are like i keep my own counsel is like you're learning to really just recognize that hey you know what even if other people say a b and c if i still feel it's a z i'm going to follow with z and um you you come to learn people's people's bad and good side and you've come to learn to release a lot of the baggage and you've learned to recognize what's yours what is not yours and you've learned to no longer kind of like be a be apologetic you're no longer like saying sorry for like expressing your boundaries with people you're no longer feeling guilty about claiming your power and your rights you're no longer um you're no longer giving chances to distorted principles or distorted um affection or distorted associations and um, with the energy of cleanse and ground because you you are learning to master your personal energy you may have also work with cleansing and grounding daily like for example when you wake up you do your meditation and when in your meditation you're grounding yourself and then you're putting affirmation and intentional energy around your aura saying that i cleanse whatever that doesn't serve me today i cleanse whatever that i picked up from anything through my dreams or through um whatever that entered my energy space while i slept so you're learning to cleanse and ground you really are coming into this energy where you're going to learn to connect to your higher self and you are connected to your higher self and um being sovereign in your energy this card empathic starts it you are sovereign in your energy and you are um you're building you're building you're actually like with all the wisdom with all the healing you've done or with all the spiritual assets you have you are now transforming those spiritual assets into physical assets into um remember this is a card of properties or finances or prosperity and it's the highest arcana like the highest um card in like materials deck for this so you're really like entering a phase of transforming 
your spiritual energy into your physical energy and you're building up your uh, you're anchoring your spiritual existence into your physical existence existence and uh, um, with the energy of the hangman you're actually going to continue to hangman reverse you're continuing to clear a lot of misconception about people who think they know who you are but they don't really know you and you're going to really evolve yourself in a way that you're actually coming into um, a space where people will learn about you as you make yourself be known as you share your voice as you um, become present in other people's life the way that you are without any distortion without any kind of like people's figment of imagination that is untrue based on the rumors and the gossip that they picked up from the hangman in reverse on the people who try to create quarrels and arguments to try and tear you down because you are a powerful high priestess or you are you have a powerful expression of your higher self in your physical manifestation of your present self so um yeah so you are like a bomb threat for fake people and fake people are continuously insecure around you because they feel that they will be found out that they're fake or they will be exposed when you act genuinely people will recognize your genuine self and then they will kind of like start to automatically discern if she's genuine if this is the level of genuine feeling that i could receive every day i would want the same thing and people would choose you over the people that fake genuine ship or fake emotional um companionship and people are apparently much more afraid of being seen as less so when people know that you are more they need to shame that hide that and they need to um, block that from the public from the masses from the community so because you have a lot more to give more than the fake people trying to give fake goods it's really about um, just cleanse and ground and and all the small steps that you take every day with your energy you provide to others like your presence if you are a mom the energy you give to your family and if you are also a working mom the energy you give to the people who is at your workplace so you can actually um just recognize that you you are like a beacon of energy of light that is connected to your higher self and um whoever who has any heavy energy wait a minute Shh. whoever who has any heavy energy you you learn not to absorb it you learn not to even be on the same um level of heaviness or if even if you accidentally absorb it you learn to shake it off and then you don't compromise your integrity by shaming yourself for picking it up okay and um because you have the empress and the high priestess together i feel like this is an evolution of you learning to um, bring in uh, so much abundance and you're going to channel your spiritual abundance to your physical abundance and there is this kind of like healing happening in your energy where um you know right now you you may feel like you, you you are being advised that take this time to really make your higher self home in the present moment so when when time comes for you to go full throttle with your business ideas or your uh, plans in life you really have that higher self really ingrained in your energy and you would be able to keep always having this your counsel your inner counsel in your um 
aura all the time for advice and for guidance and for so this is a message for you to embrace your higher self and to work on your energy healing to your energy uh, as a light worker if you believe that you are a light worker you work on your light workmanship so it's like to polish your light energy okay and um, this is the time where you kind of like pay respects or um, benefit with gratitude so it means that you're going to to count your blessings and you're going to count and affirm your blessings and you're going to shift all scars or lack energy with abundant affirmations and um, with the empathic star seed and the earth pulsing you you this this spread i feel among all the other spread this is a woman who is coming to her power who has managed her energy energetical imprint or presence and and she's in rhythm with mother earth So, this kind of energy allows you to be a manifester because you're creating your own vibration. You're walking on your own tempo. You know, in music, there's a tempo like one, two, three, four, or one, two, something like that. So, you, you have your own tempo in life. So, this energy of you, of you picking this pile card D. With the energy of the high priestess the empress and then the hangman in reverse you're really kind of like an energy calibrator where you're like cleansing and grounding all the time you may you may learn not to absorb anything as much as before but you're also this energy transmitter where you um you could learn to um could you you could learn to kind of like recognize when you are overworking so you don't you don't overwork on um volunteering to cleanse toxic people's energy you're actually just becoming a beacon so you don't absorb other people's energy but you're just a beacon and let them do their own healing okay so high priestess you're not responsible for other people's healing you're actually responsible for your own energy all the time so whatever energy that may have distorted you to feel like hey i have to help these people um that hero rescue energy does not serve you because you're not sovereign when you feel that you have to you're only sovereign when people are inspired and looked up to you and they put their own efforts in their own healing and then they they have their own willpower to change themselves rather than you kind of like unconsciously doing it for others so you don't have to do that you don't have to cleanse and ground other people's energy you just have that to be that beacon of light and have faith on your own energy that it's enough for you not to sacrifice your energy for other people's healing but to inspire healing and to inspire awareness in other people and if they don't want to heal or change it's, it's nothing to do with you you are a sovereign being of your own energy of your own making and um, for now this spread is really about you owning your energy and listening to your higher self connecting to your intuition and keeping your own counsel um, the, the positive affirmation here is that you're you're already in that zone in that in that atmosphere of believing in your own intuition the challenge here is to recognize where you unconsciously absorb people's energy to cleanse and ground you just cut it out you don't do that and the last message that I have for you is that um, you 
are creating your own vibration frequency your own signature vibration and frequency and you are becoming a manifester of your own life so once you kind of continuously grasp this new technique in your energy space you get to really forwardly manifest a new vision for your life and you can create a new world and you can start to beam your existence with your identity that is kind of like hmm, so far it feel like a continuance to the previous policy it's like indestructible you're coming into your power guys so uh, this is the message um if you guys are interested to have this kind of like spread i have a offer it is going to be listed in the description if you want to know about the offer and if you want to sign up for any future meditations just uh email me at meredithmyros at gmail.com and for now i hope the reading really serves you in the best way possible and um Thank you for listening to my pick card reading, Divine Loving Message from the Universe. My name is Meredith Mindless, I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary. I'll see you next time for now. Bye.